the first thing I want you to understand about a columnar table is it's always a no primary index table. You'll understand why soon. Let's take a look right here. As you can see, we've created our table and it's got our columns and our data types and we're saying no primary index. This will spread the data evenly but randomly and that's what a no PI is, no primary index. This is not a no primary index table. You see, we've just forgotten to put the primary index in, and most of the time when this happens, Teradata says, oh, they probably work with Oracle. They don't realize it. I'm going to help them out. I'll make the first column a non-unique primary index. So realize right now that there's the no primary index statement, and then there's the uh, whoops, I forgot to put it on, and those are two different scenarios. A very important aspect of this is the no PI table. So visually, I just want you to see our table with nine rows, our three amps, and three, three, three are the rows. We've just spread the data evenly, but randomly. Perfectly for ETL staging tables. That's great for no PI tables. And you will soon see how no PI tables are always implemented when you have a columnar design. What is a staging table? Well, let me tell you, Teradata has the ability with some great load utilities, BT, fast load, multi-load, T-pump, TPT, to load data directly from a flat file or from a mainframe or even another relational database directly onto a Teradata table if it doesn't have certain indexes or join indexes. So there's some caveats here. So what happens quite a bit is that you might have a large production table. It's got indexes or join indexes on it. And then Teradata says, let's load from the outside source to a staging table. We'll create a table. It'll be a no primary index table. We'll load it very quickly. And now it's on Teradata spread evenly on the amps. And then we'll write an insert select statement, insert into my real table, select everything from here, and that's how they get data loaded quite often with a staging table. And that's really where the first no PI tables came from. Let's get it out there on Teradata, even distribution, fast ETL, and then we'll load it to the production table. No PI tables are always multi-set tables. They're not going to check for any duplicate rows like a set table would have to do. No PI tables can have secondary indexes, USIs, NUSIs. They can have join indexes. They can actually be volatile or global temporary tables. You can collect statistics on them, have fallback, triggers. They can actually be lobs or large objects, and they can have primary key, foreign key constraints. They're really very similar to the tables you're used to in Teradata. They just don't have a primary index. There are some restrictions. No PI tables are limited to some restrictions because they can have, obviously, no primary indexes. They cannot be set tables. You can't have PPI tables, partitioned primary index tables. No Q tables. You can't have any hash indexes. Forget about identity columns. No permanent journaling. And they can't be the target table for any update, upsert, or merge into statements. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza, Teradata, or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With Teratom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned.